Good Sunday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your Sam Channel weather for the day this August 14th, sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Yesterday, brilliant. Lots of sunshine. It got a little warm and toasty near the end of the day, but overall, there was a breeze there. The humidity levels were not too bad. And as far as a high temperature, 85 the official high temperature at the Bowling Green Airport. That is five degrees cooler than the average of 90. Again, this is uh, the time of the year when we should be really cooking in the uh, sunshine and the humidity, uh, but such is not the case, and it doesn't look like we're going to be doing that anytime soon. I mean, it's going to get a little bit warmer today than yesterday, but still not bad at all. Here's a look at the radar the long view this morning, of course, over southern Kentucky, everything's fine, but you see a disturbance off to our northeast, and then a frontal boundary that is to the west, and there's a low pressure north of this area once you get up into the Great Lakes, and it's touching off some of these showers that are uh, working their way through parts of uh, Indiana and the Wabash River. Yes, some of these are going to make their uh, plight to the south and east. Some of these look to skim our eastern counties later today. Not everybody's going to get wet, and of course this is going to break down a little bit more as it heads our direction, but this is on a more southeasterly course. Um, I'm only going to mention that there could be a pop-up shower along and east of I-65 today, later today, but that's pretty much the extent of it uh, for our area. And uh, those little waves are going to continue to come one by one over the next few days. It's really going to be a very typical summer-like pattern in which we see a pop-up shower mostly in the afternoons and then fade away after dark. It's kind of that, you know, that usual typical summertime pattern. Now, don't really any see significant rain coming our way anytime soon. And I think we're, we're, we're pretty much done with that uh, deluge of rain that we've had in the l recent weeks. Here's a look at temperatures this morning, and they are a bit warmer than they were yesterday. Remember when I showed you this map at around uh, 6 a.m. or so, temperatures were in the 50s, upper 50s. So we're a little bit warmer this morning, mostly low 60s. 60s, anywhere you look, there's a 67 in Metcalf County, about the warmest uh, this morning, 61, 62 here in Bowling Green. Still a very pleasant this morning under a mainly clear sky. There may be a little bit of patchy fog in a couple of spots this morning, but otherwise we're off to a good start. Here is a look at future temperatures as we start in the 60s this morning. Uh, we are going to warm it up a little bit more today. As I mentioned, 85 was our high officially yesterday at the Bowling Green Airport. We're going to go more into the mid to upper 80s, maybe 88, 87 this afternoon uh, with just a, a twinge more humidity, just a little bit. So a little bit warmer, a little more humidity today. Then tonight we go back to near 70 for an overnight low. Then we head back into the low 80s tomorrow. That's because there is a little better chance as a cold front comes through of getting some scattered showers in the picture. And there will be a few more clouds than what we're going to see today. Uh, as far as, like I said, big time rains, not really seeing that yet. But here is the picture, the future cast if you will, of what the maps are going to look like, the radar is going to look like. Uh, today, we'll start out very quiet this morning. Just these little blips that show up here, Just that's just an anomaly. That's just uh, debris, if you will, or not really debris, more contaminated data. There we go. Um, then we get into the afternoon, and we start to see that complex of showers that I showed you just to the north of us along the Wabash River in central Indiana. It comes our way and it does weaken. It runs into the dry air that has been set up by high pressure 
that has been with us all weekend. And you can see the breakdown of those showers later today. But again, mainly along and east of I-65 is where you could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm, a pop-up later on this afternoon and this evening after dark. It all fades away. The front comes on through. Uh, then we get into Tuesday. We start to see some scattered shower activity. But again, the chances and coverage is pretty low. So this is not going to be a big time rain, although where it does rain, it's going to be one of those situations where if enough moisture is available, you'll get a, a nice little shower out of that. But it's still, this the systems have a lot of dry air to overcome. So even though these maps may paint stuff in, remember, it's not exact, it's conditional, and uh, it's got a lot of dry air to overcome. So once these little cells try to work in and work out, uh, they may just fall apart, show up on the radar like, oh, it looks like it's raining over here. But then the ground truth, you know, you standing on the ground looking up, there, there's nothing. It's going to be one of those situations until we get into Wednesday. Now, you see, especially this model is trying to paint in a broad area of rain coming out of Illinois, Indiana, Missouri. Some of the models are not looking at this. They're, they're, they're like, nope, the in disagreement. So we have a divergence of systems and, and models here, but if this should hang on, then we would get some more beneficial or significant rainfall as we get into Wednesday. But right now, uh, chances are that it's low that that's going to happen. And like is typical of what we've seen of late, once this big area of rain moves in, it hits all this dry air and it just poof, falls apart. That could be the case. We'll just have to get closer to that time frame before you know we can make a decision about what's going to happen with that. Here's a look at the surface maps this morning and show you where the fronts are and what we're looking at here. High pressure in control. Here's our low pressure system to the north, dragging that little front down south of it. And that little complex that we saw this morning over central Indiana, there it is. Uh, it is going to make its way south. But again, I think it's mostly going to affect along and east of Interstate 65. If anything does pop up this afternoon, it would just be very isolated and a pop-up stray shower, even at that. The front works its way through uh, as we get into early Tuesday morning. Uh, actually, this afternoon, I think it could work its way through. Then here we go into early Tuesday. Here comes another area of low pressure uh, out in the plains, and this one's going to produce some better rainfall on Tuesday for those folks. But the very beginning of it is what I showed you just on the radar, future radar, that could either fall apart or hold together into Wednesday. Now, the maps are showing that this holds together, but it's going to affect mostly the Boot Hill of Missouri, West Tennessee, parts of Arkansas, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama. We just get residual showers out of that. So again, this system tries to work in here, but it hits that dry air and falls apart, mostly. But I'm going to leave in a chance of showers on Wednesday. Here we go into Thursday, a little bit of a trough extending from that low over uh, northern Alabama. Could touch off a shower too. Every day there is a chance that we could see a shower late in the day. Um, pretty much every day, this coming week, but it's not going to rain the entire time. This is going to be one of those hit and miss kind of deals. And uh, not everybody's going to get rain. It's just going to be one of those kind of uh, splash and dash kind of situations. But here's really, to me, the bigger story here continues to be the trend in temperature. And as I've said for, what, the past week or so, and a lot of you guys have commented back. I see your comments. I just don't get to comment on all the comment back on them. But uh, some of you have picked up on what I've been saying, that we could be 
in the transition to an early fall based on the patterns that I'm seeing. And you see that one lone 90 that we hit, and that is today. If we even hit 90, it could be 88, 89, could be 90 in a couple of spots. But you see from this point forward after today, low to mid 80s, even hardly mid 80s, mostly low 80s, all the way through not just this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. Yeah, that's that's very unusual for August. Typically, we're baking in the heat and humidity, as I've been saying, uh, to have that kind of 80 degree weather, low to mid 80s in the middle of August in Kentucky. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's a little unusual. Uh, but this year has been unusual. Every I've noticed every season has started early this year. That doesn't mean that it's climate change. That doesn't mean it's global warming. That doesn't mean everything is cyclical. Okay. And if you disagree with me, you don't have to watch these. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You it's America. You have freedom of choice. You don't need to watch me, but I'm not going to get in a back and forth with you. That's just what I believe. That's just what I know. And if you want to disagree with me, fine, but you don't have to watch. You can always, as they say, change the channel. You know, they used to, they would get on to me in television about saying that. Don't you ever say that again. Change the channel. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this not America? Is this not where you have freedom of choice? Or would you just sit there, rather sit there and pick a fight? I don't, I'm not going to pick a fight. And I'm not going to get engaged in that kind of stupidity. I did that and uh, it backfired several times. <laughs> <laughs> so um that's that right there that's that's the way i see it that's the way it is as walter cronkite used to say and that's the way uh that's the way i'm doing it so have a great sunday go to church pray for me <laughs> i always want your prayers because <laughs> i need them all right you guys have a great day i appreciate you appreciate you watching uh, enjoy your Sunday. God bless. I'll see you back here tomorrow morning and I'm back on the radio tomorrow as well.